Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Let's Play series of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. This is Colonel RPG and I'm very happy to have you here hanging out with me as I start a new game on what is one of my favorite FPSs of all time. This game has got everything, it's got exploration, awesome bullet physics, it's got awesome weapons, it's got awesome, awesome atmosphere, it's just a fantastic fantastic game. It, it was made by a team of Ukrainian uh, de developers back at, I think in 2007. It was actually under development for a long long time since the beginning. I think it was called uh, Under Oblivion or something like that. Uh, and it had an interesting uh, an interesting notion. Uh, it was in developed for a long time and very very hyped at the time of release and it has even to this day very nice graphics. Um, very nice AI even though it's a little bit buggy every once in a while but the atmosphere really where is where uh, this game really really shines and also the setting the setting basically is around uh, This over here is uh, Chernobyl nuclear power plant number four the one that blew up in 1986 uh, And there's an exclusion zone of I think 30 kilometers wide uh, a circle around uh, Chernobyl that's called the zone uh, in this game and that zone apparently got transformed by some sort of otherworldly event in 2004 that uh, spawned the world that we're gonna play in. So let's start a new game. We're gonna play in Master because really, you know, Master is uh, where it's at in this game and uh, yeah, that's how we really, really feel it. So let's see the intro movie. This one seems to be alive. What a lucky guy. At least death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit. You're lying. Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here. I think, for this one, I can give you... And that's us. We're a stalker. The marked one. Apparently I'm... I got basically... a mark. <laughs> it means I'm stalker, but I don't think so I remember. So one, I saved you. And I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. You do some jobs for me, and we're even. Besides, okay. keeping you busy might be a good way to deal with your amnesia. And I'll see what I can find out about your problem. 
Yeah. I don't give a shit why you want to find this Trella guy. I mind my own business. If you want to kill him, well, you must have your reasons. No, my What reasons. are you standing there for? Come closer. I don't bite. <laughs> well, you did that chicken like, but sure. Whatever. Uh, so this is Sidorovich, apparently the employer of the fine gentleman that rescued us for, uh, that rescued us from that death truck. I, at this point, uh, basically we don't know much of what's going on. I can give you some some tips. Um, of course, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. I, I've played this game before, and I know the storyline. But what that death truck is, it's basically a uh, truck filled with uh, dead bodies. So apparently we were one of those dead bodies, or at least thought to be dead, and uh, that guy found us, and we were alive, but we have lost our memory. Maybe in the accident, probably in the accident. Uh, we have a mission. We have amnesia, but we have a mission to kill S the Streluk. This game has got some funky translations every once in a while, but uh, voice acting is actually, I, I like the voice acting a lot. Uh, so this is gonna be our friend for right now. We can't really leave, so let's talk to the guy. The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you like I usually do with all the rookies, or I treat you like a real stalker and I give you a mission straight away. Just give me a mission. Got a job for you, Mark One. I want you to find a stalker called Nimble. He was carrying some very important information. He disappeared somewhere near the bridge. Find him. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. Visit Wolf from the local camp and ask him. He certainly knows where that guy can be. That's all for now, he says. Bring me the flash drive and we'll consider the fact that you've partially paid me for saving you. Okay, I'll try. And I can actually trade with him, but at this moment in time we don't really have any anything to... Good uh, hunting, stalker. Thank you. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything to trade, but we will very soon. Oh, binoculars, that's right. We'll start with the binoculars. These things are very, very good uh, because they mark... Friends and enemies on your minimap, and uh, you can see the minimap up in the left corner, uh, le uh, upper left corner of, of the screen. But we also have bolts, and we're gonna see that later on, not right now. Bolts are used for something different, and that's all that we have right now. Hey, Caustic, what's up, man? Caustic Softy, our boss here wanted to see you, but that doesn't make you a welcome guest. Keep moving. Yeah, they're neutral towards us. Can you tell me something interesting? Let's head to camp. You'll hear all the rumors there. Yeah, you can hear all the rumors, but. Every once in a while they will give you, I think, stashes, but maybe maybe I'm mistaken on that. Um, we're not going to spend too much time mingling with the people. But they do have some... Uh, yeah, they're talking, they, they're enjoying themselves and all that sort of stuff. This guy over here is Wolf. Does he look a little bit like Mika Hakkinen? Yeah, a little bit. Hey, man. Hi, why are you here? Hi, uh, I, need, I need to see Nimble. Would you know where I can find him? Oh, Nimble got a raw deal. This group was attacked by some bandits a little ways from here. All he could do is was send me an, an SOS message. It looked like his pals went under. My guys told me these bastards are now at the old car park, the one across the road. You don't rescue your own people from prison? Uh, not that I would, not what I would call friendly, or is it that just you're too weak? I'd bop you one, but what's the use? It's not that simple. I got few people, and even those I got are mostly rookies. I can't take that risk. If we lose this camp, things will get even worse for all the stalkers out there. And what about yourself? If you aren't too scared, I won't let my pride take me, uh, make me say no to helping a, to a helping hand. So will you help me deal with these thugs? Think I can do it alone? Nah, you stand no chance on your own. My scouts are good soldiers, and right now they're right behind those freaks. Together, you can make a run for it. What do you think? You got the guts? Yeah, I'll try. Okay. Guys, I'm sending someone your way, so wing it. You may attack if necessary. Over. All right, we'll send him in. Man. That's a loudspeaker right there. Uh, yeah, so the exploration is very important in this game. I'm not actually going to explore right now these houses, although there's good stuff to be had. We also have a gun. He gave us a gun, basically, so we can defend ourselves a little bit. It's a PPM. I don't think it, it might be a, a real... A real weapon, I think it might be actually. So I'm gonna go to the bridge where Nimbo got taken. The bridge is right up here. Uh, also another place, uh, another thing, this place is called the Cordon. You can see it on your map over here. Uh, the map is actually quite huge, this game is enormous. But <clears throat> it's not free roaming. It's a little bit like free roaming, but it's not quite. So this is the Cordon over here. We're more or less, uh, we're over there. And the reason for it being called the Cordon is because there's a military Cordon around the area. The military, you hear, you heard them, I think, maybe um, a little while back. Uh, as the, They have loudspeakers down there. It's kind of weird, but there's a guy over here. Apparently one of them survived. Oh. Oh, there's military surveying the area. 
Hey, man. Oh, damn. That pain is too much. I'm dying, he says. Are you alive? I'm okay. You're bleeding all over, though. Give me a medic, a med kit, will ya? Sure. Thank you, Batman. You're okay, you know that? I'll be sure to tell everyone at the camp that you helped me out. Thank you very much, sir. The military are looking around. I wonder if they... Are they gonna go? Yeah, I wonder if they know what went down over here. Hey, thanks, friend. A little longer than I... I owe you one. What the hell happened? We were coming back from a scouting raid. Came across some gangsters. One of our guys got killed right there. They grabbed Nimble because he made up a nice story about a cache full of artifacts. I played dead and that saved my ass. Yeah, I need to see Nimble. I'm going after him. Wanna keep me co company? Oh man, right now I'm as good a fighter as a pair of old socks. I gotta get some uh, my strength back and return to the camp. I'll, I'll let the people know how much you helped me. Thanks again. Okay, thanks. See you, la see you later, friend. Yep. There's reputations in this in this game. I don't actually remember what that does to you, but there's a lot of different factions, and we're gonna get to know all about them. I'm just gonna go in here because there's good stuff in here. And you, it, this is what I was saying. Exploration is very important in this game. Look at this. Ammo, bandages, silence pistol, oh, med kits. That's really good. That's really really good. And uh, later on in the episode, I'm gonna, actually gonna show you a, something even better. But there's a dog down there. That's a problem. Because dogs are not afraid of you if they're in packs. If they're alone, they kind of are. And sometimes when they're in small packs, they are as well. I think it depends on what weapon you have equipped. Uh, at least that's... Even though it makes no sense. but Because they wouldn't be able to tell a shotgun. Or maybe they would. I, who knows? Uh, a shotgun from a pistol. But I think that's that makes a difference. But dogs, yeah. Animals in this area, they're all mutated. You can actually go into your encyclopedia over here and read about them. So you can do this. And I'm going to just do that about... The, oh. Oh, we don't know anything yet. Okay. Okay, but yeah, you can read about crows, you can read about dogs, a bunch of, about a, uh, a bunch of things. And yeah, uh, that's that dog's over there. This guy, of course, is the our contact. What's his name? Pathuna Petruha. Pipe down, man. Oh, Let sorry. Me feel you in. Yeah, they don't like when you uh, you have a gun out. Hey, man. Hello, Wolf has already sent word of you. You got any questions? Yeah, how many bandits in the camp? Uh, seven or eight people. Two by the gate, two more in the building to the right near the fire, and another two in one uh, in the one to the left. That's where they're keeping Nimble. Someone usually hangs around the yard as well. That's about it. Shall we say a prayer or go? Uh, let's run up to your men and go. Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to... Sorry. Attack. Save the game. Time to move on. It's quite important. Since we're playing on, uh, on Master, uh, or Stalker, or whatever, Master difficulty, uh, it's gonna be very, very important to be careful with every single thing we do. This is the compound that we're looking into, uh, and uh, most of them, if I remember correctly, most of them just have pistols, so that shouldn't be a problem. I also don't want to have the advantage of surprise. Let's see. Also be careful with the sound. Okay, that guy. I don't want to have the advantage of surprise because those guys are crazy. The guys that are on my side. Oh, come on. Okay, I got a bunch of ammo, so it should be okay. You can see the, the red dots on the map. Oh, I got him! Nice! And sniping them from afar is... Well, that's the definition of sniping, but yeah. Shooting them from afar is very important. And because they flank you, they, there's all sorts of nasty stuff that the AI does. They are very smart every once in a while. Every once in a while, I say, because every once in a while they are also dumb as bricks. Oh, 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 oh that's bad, that's bad, that's bad! Okay, I'm bleeding. That's, that should be okay. I'm not gonna use a bandage right now. That's small bleeding, I think. Sometimes I can't tell if they're enemies or not, so you can just aim with a normal aim. And, uh... I got him! Nice! Okay, so you can see uh, the minimap, there's a number. That is the number of humans around the area. There's a guy up there. Damn it, they're shooting me so precisely. Which actually makes a lot of sense, because I'm kind of standing still. So, ooh, that guy's moving. Okay, I need to get, I need to get myself a shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna run. Oh, there's a guy back there. Are you kidding me? Did he flank that much? Okay, I'm gonna need to take him out or something. Okay, yeah. Is that enemy? No, it's not. I think our friends are gonna die. Just saying. Let's go. Yeah, the game is not fully translated, but that's part of the charm as well. I mean, we're in Chernobyl. We're in, um... Actually, Chernobyl is just a small town where the nuclear power plant is. Uh, but we're in, um... Ukraine, so it, it makes sense that they speak Ukrainian. 
Although I can't speak Ukrainian, so I don't really know if they're speaking Ukrainian or Russian. Because, you know, Eastern mar Market and all that, they might have made the game in Russian rather than Ukrainian. I don't even know if that's a different. There's a different. I think. So. Damn it! He doesn't have a shotgun, so we should be okay here. And yeah, AI sometimes screws up, as you could just tell. But we got a little bit of ammo. That's really good. That guy is dead. Look at his friend, dude. Who are you shooting right now? Oh, there's a guy over there. So how many? We have three more, three enemies. Actually, four, because there's Nimble. Uh, two. I mean. There's a guy down there. There's a guy that's over here, and I don't know where he is. Machum brush, let's. Okay. And this is of course where the where the chicky bricky. Okay, good. Chicky bricky, um, famous meme comes from. They say that every once in a while. I don't know what it means, but I know I know some of you guys are from Eastern Europe, so you, some of you might know. I don't, unfortunately. Okay, let's get this stuff. And let's get this thing. Doesn't have anything. Still don't have a shotgun, but we only have... Actually, yeah, we only have one enemy. It's, it, he, he ran away. I think he ran away this way. Hey. Oh, he's in there. He's in there. Okay, you need to be careful. Uh, Don't shoot these things when you're up close. It's definitely don't knife them these things because it will kill you actually let me save the game right there because sneaking is a thing but not right now we're not gonna sneak too much right now so I don't know where the guy is but they know oh it's in here it's this guy. yeah they're calling him or something okay we got it that's nimble to save me or what yeah, man. Returning to starting positions. Good. Oh. Let me just loot this place. Uh, now, most of the um, exploration in this game is done by a means. You hear sometimes, you'll maybe hear that in a little bit when I access a body over here. But you'll hear like a... And that's the sound of uh, um, a PDA being accessed and, um, and give me the locations for, for a stash or something like that. Most of the exploration is going to be... Uh, due to those things, but not really every single little bit. How the, oh, this guy, I got him already. But, like, uh, uh, some situations, every once in a while, there's gonna be treasure hiding in unlikely places. So you're gonna be on the look, wanna look, out, look out for that. Uh, but, yeah, stashes are really where it's at. I know a few, so I'm gonna get the few that I that I know, but I'm not gonna explore everything. Uh, see? Uh, chest of the heavily armed military checkpoint, and that's actually we are going there later. Not right now. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little while. So let's see if I can save this nimble dude. Nimble dude, yeah. And there there's a bunch of stashes. Like there's uh, empty chests every once in a while that you'll find, and those are usually stashes. Like back here, I don't actually think there's anything. I don't think there is, but yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Up here, I do know that there's nothing, so I'm not gonna get anything. But if I remember correct, well, there's, yeah. Now, this is one of the cha stashes, for example. You see this? Yeah. It kind of refills. Uh, I remember... Is this one? Nah. Or maybe this one. No, there's no guy. Sometimes they die up here because you shoot them from afar. Anyway, let's, let's talk to Nimble and see if he has the, the flash drive that I, I, I that we brother. need. Yeah, you do. I could never thank you enough. Well, you have a flash drive for me. Thanks, brother, he says. You did this great service. I don't even know how to thank you. Yeah, listen. I need to f the flash drive you were talking uh, to the trader. Do you... Take him to the trader. Do you have it? Oh, yeah, I got it. Those moderns can't even do a proper search. Well, what the hell? Take it. After all, you saved my life. It was well hidden, but these thugs can frisk for shit. Well, thanks. Where did you keep it, anyway? Who knows? May might come in handy. I didn't keep it down there, so don't worry. I I've worked for a trader for a long time, so I can store information safely. By the way, I told the thugs a nice little story about a cache full of s artifacts, and they ordered one guy to go there. The cache exists, but it's only got one artifact. I, I, can, I can give you the coordinates if you want. Sure, thanks. Uh, but don't forget, there's lots of wild animals there. Besides, the gangster they sent is armed with more than a scoop and a shovel, so be careful. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks to you, too. I need a job. Do you have anything for me? Find a perfected suit. While I was in in, in uh, was in captivity, I heard the bandits talking about their secret stash, where they kept uh, where they keep the cab the habar. Oh, there's dogs around. I think yeah. Heard that they hid a cool coat there, and the next day some monster got his eye on the stash, and he became so interested in it that they are afraid to go there. Do me a favor, bring me the suit, and I'll pay you well. 
Yeah, there's uh, quests like this all over the place. We're gonna do as many of them as we can. It's an easy way to get money, but really, that's not really that necessary. Now, another thing that I really need is a proper shotgun. You're gonna want to be on the lookout for good, the good condition of your shotgun, uh, or of your weapons, not just the shotgun, of your weapons, uh, because otherwise they will jam. And even at that condition that we have over here, it's still gonna break. Uh, so let's see if I can kill this boar that's going around here. It sounded like a boar to me. Okay, so, yeah. That place over there, there's a bunch of things that, she, that uh, we're gonna get to explore. Oh, look at that, our first anomaly. So, how this works is, uh, well, there's anomalies in the, in the world, and they're crazy, but they can be avoided. Yeah, that one just does concussive damage, you can learn about them later. Uh, but, ooh, those guys are going back? Hey, you're going back, man? Back, man. Can I talk to you? Uh, oh, this, yeah, this is nimble. Sorry. Uh, see you later, man. Just do your thing. Okay, yeah. Anomalies basically don't get behind them. You can hear the beep, boop, boop, boop. There's different beeps that you hear every once in a while. You're gonna learn to, um, to, uh, know which ones they are. Like, the beep that we just heard is either somebody getting into our raider or out of our raider. And I wanna come over here because there is dogs. There are dogs. And also a dead guy over here. Oh. Okay. Okay, just dogs. Yeah, and there's a boar pursuing the dogs. Dogs are usually afraid of you. Depends on how many of them there are. So let's just go up here. Ah, you don't need to kill them. There's no need to. So let's go back and uh, deliver our quest to uh, Sidorovich. See what he has to say about this whole ordeal. Also, running and going from one place to another is a big part of this game. It's really big because it's just... There's, there's such big distances between different places. I'm gonna cut out some of that walking, but some of it is gonna stay in. Uh, but first, actually, did we get a... Did we get any stash up here? Let me zoom in. Okay, we got a stash over there. Now, actually, that's the... Uh, yeah, that's the uh, impressive suit or whatever. That's Nimble coming in. And that is the abandoned mill. Hmm. The wounded brother was last seen somewhere around here. Yeah, I need to go over there. We're gonna do that, but for right now, what I want to... We didn't get any stash around here. We got another one over there. Hey, sir. What's up? Can I talk to you? Uh, yeah. So he doesn't... What the hell's going on back here? That's another so, so, uh, type of, acti of uh, anomaly that you just heard. That one is not concussive damage. It just pulls you in and rips you into shreds, and it's pretty nasty. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let's just explore down here, because I know there's food. Yeah, and I think that's that, actually. Well, there's this chest. Ooh, more food. Nice. But what I wanted to show you was a very, very nice spot. Yeah, I know, I know. They don't like that. A very nice spot for loot. You go up here, and uh, it's not this easy. Although you do need to get to all these easy parts and destroy all these things. There's vodka. And everybody knows vodka is good for radiation, right? If you ever feel yourself a little bit sick, a little bit like you got, you, you got the flu, but your hair is falling off, just drink a nice big cup of uh, vodka and you'll be fine. Now, the place that I really wanted to, to show you is on there. And it, there's no really easy way to get up there apart from this one. You need to sprint and jump. And it takes a little bit of work and a little bit of timing right there. And we need to get into this attic. You see, there's a box back there. But the problem is this attic is not accessible. Not from under, not from up here either. Because even this one up here, you can try this, but it doesn't work. It doesn't, you can't go in there. And that's the entrance, but there's no ladder. So what we need to do is we need to get down here and go into a low crouch. Which is basically uh, walking and crouching at the same time. And there, this thing over here, just break it. Just break it. And we got ourselves a merc suit. And a merc suit is basically like a stalker suit. Some of these guys have stalker suits, uh, but a merc suit is just better in general. It says right there, stalker suit from the merc faction. Its design is based on the suit suit used for the special forces of the Western armies. And uh, it doesn't have, if I remember correctly, it doesn't have night vision, even though it kind of looks like it. And uh, yeah, so it's just much better. Look at all of these. It's got protection from radiation, from a bunch of other things, and that is gonna set us up very, very nicely and just ensure that we're not gonna die as often, hopefully. Okay, let's go down here and let's go to Sidorovich. Tell him about the flash drive and see what he has to say about the about this wall operation. And uh, well, continue. And uh, yeah, just go, just go down in here. Actually, I, I really uh, you, there's um, weight allocation. The more weight down you you are, the more it will uh, cost you to sprint. So I really want to go uh, around in a. Um, I, I really want to be as light as possible most of the time. Hey, Sidorovich. Anything valuable? Yeah, I do. 
He's talking about trading, though. Greetings, marked one. Did you manage it? Yeah, the situation has become clear. Where's the flash drive with the info? Here it is. Okay, and there it is. We got the mission done. Task complete. Get information for the scout. Now, we can get jobs uh, from him, but we're going to do that next episode because uh, we're kind of running out of time. I'm just going to show you the uh, trade interface. This guy will buy everything from you. I'm going to do that off camera and uh, sell him something like this, for example. Um... And, uh, like, uh, all these guns, although I want to keep my own, but yeah. Anyway, for Did right I now... not make myself clear? <laughs> I need real stuff. Yeah, you're gonna get real stuff, but for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did and you want to see more episodes, be sure to leave a like down below so to let me know to make more and release them sooner rather than later. Um, but above all, above everything else, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.